Yeah, so the background is that we don't, do not know what the best optimal treatment is for patients with high risk, high risk Burkitt lymphoma. And Burkitt lymphoma is a very aggressive uh, lymphoma. We know that we have to treat them immediately with high dose uh, chemotherapy, but there are different regimens and um, we don't, don't know what is the best. And um, in 2013, there was a newer regimen, which is with lower intensity uh, uh, chemotherapy. And we decided to, to uh, develop a randomized study to, uh, to compare these two uh, regimens. Uh, and that's what we did in a phase three uh, trial uh, in Hovum uh, in the collaboration with the SAC group uh, in Switzerland. It was a, a randomized uh, study. Um, so patients were randomized one to one to uh, two cycles of R codex M R IVAC or six cycles of dose just epoch uh, R. And uh, the original uh, plan was to um, uh, demonstrate a superiority for the dose just epoch R uh, scheme um, with an increasement from 70 to 85 uh, percent progression free survival. That was the primary endpoint. Um, but due to uh, slow accrual rates and the um, withdrawal of an, an, uh, another group, we had to, to close the trial earlier. So finally, we uh, uh, included 89 uh, patients and we randomized the, uh, these uh, two uh, in two uh, groups. Well, the key finding is that the two regimens have the same uh, survival rates uh, regarding progression free survival but also overall survival. There was no significant uh, difference. And uh, another important finding is that the uh, dose just epoch uh, R scheme is uh, significantly less toxic uh, regarding to uh, serious adverse events, um, uh, infectious uh, serious adverse events. And it is also uh, associated with less hospitalization days and with less transfusions of uh, red blood cells and of thrombocytes. So, um, and yeah, so the, the dose just epoch scheme is, is uh, the preferred scheme re regarding these uh, um, elements. Uh, you can do it on an outpatient base uh, and you need less transfusions and less um, uh, uh, hospitalization days. I think, um, well, since we, we, we closed the trial earlier, we did not met the primary endpoint of superiority of, of those just epochs. So we cannot say that that is the best regimen, um, but it is equal when, when we look at the data that we have now and, we, and it is less uh, complicated. So I, I think it, it is a very good option to discuss with your patient because you, have, you can choose between uh, the two. Uh, the dose just epoch scheme, it is a little bit longer, two weeks, um, um, but yeah, the, the, the advantage is that, that you are, uh, have the possibility to do it on an outpatient basis and with less toxicity. So I think it's, uh, it's yeah, in, in this way it's, it's a preferred option, but it's something that you can discuss with your, with your patients. Mm -hmm.